Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. Today we have another LEGO Ninjago review video. Today we have set number 70609, the Manta Way Bomber. This set was released in 2017. It has 341 pieces and 4 minifigures and it retailed for $30. So let's take a look on the minifigures. So here we have Cole. I really love the scythe on him. Just love the kind of rocky design with like the wood and like this is just a staff piece attached to a modified one by one. I can't take it off right now. It has a cheese slope here and a one by one plate on the there. So by taking it off, you can see the torso printing. I really love it. You can see some straps on his leg and he's also sleeveless. And on the back, got like the Wu logo and like all the ninja used this logo back in, in the day. Like basically in the Lego Ninjago movie, he got the new style of uh, mask piece that uh, was introduced in the Lego Ninjago movie. Taking it off, you can see his face, very upset face here. And on the back, very happy face, a smiley face, kind of like a smirk. So let's see the next minifigure. So here we have the shark army great white i don't know what why they call him that he got a very nice weapon you can see like with the cone and stuff and like the fish and let's take it off and he got like very nice headpiece with like the armor and stuff so you can see it's just a one mold i believe it's dual molded no it's not it's one mold you can see it we got one of these pieces on his back you can take it off can take off the head just really easily take it off i'm showing you the process just to know how is the process if you don't know and put it right back you can see store sprinting is actually very nice the z store sprinting are, ve are very common like they are all the all on all the regular shark army minifigures i really love the face of him and you can see the back also same painting for the two shark guys so i'm not gonna skip let's see this shark guy got like a very nice weapon i like this one more than the other one got a cap he got some scratches on his face in red and a beard and like kind of a goatee same torso legs and back printing as the other guy here we have Shen Li, basically one of the Lego Ninjago movie villager. You can see very nice like contraption for his neck, basically his shoulder. I really love that Lego added this kind of piece with two buckets and kind of like he's holding them by like this one by one, modified one by one for a clip. Like you can take it off of course of the neck bracket piece and like just like that he has one of these new uh, rice hats that was introduced also in the Lego Ninjago movie. Take it off, you can see more of the face printing you have like some hair here and a mustache so the torso printing is actually very nice on this minifigure i like it very much and i love the uh, dark blue legs with like the tan printing on it i like love that and the back printing is actually like some more wrinkles not very detailed as the front printing so here it is the manta ray bomber this is kind of like a whale design just a little bit you can see kind of like the face over here it's like the tongue and the mouse and like this is like the, his hands and this kind of his tail so kind of like designed as a type whale and on the front we can have like the eyes are like with the uh, uh, translucent orange tiles and here on the front we have some three ignored shooters this is like kind of modified one by two to get like the tongue and i love this uh, one one by four brick i just like it here supposed to like have some st can store whatever you want here over here and you got some like grilled cheese slopes and here we have kind of like a easter egg you can't open this or anything just on there and here you can shoot actually the uh, spring loaded shooters just pulling it like that and it shoots off let's take it off for now you have some of these printed caution pieces on the on both uh, both sides actually and here we have on the wings love the sand blue color same thing as the front but there's more white and i love the white and the sand i really love how is the bottom color is white and on the top is sand blue you can see it's kind of like you can see it a little bit here and on the top over there and you have like a one by one square tile here in translucent um, green and here in translucent red and i really like that uh, everything is same thing on both sides both wing but inverted of course you have a sticker here it's kind of like faded on mine you can see it's peeling and stuff so lego
What are you doing with your stickers, man? On the bottom side, nothing much. I really love the use of this piece. And you can see here kind of the engines over here. And not really nothing else. I really love this kind of like spin. But these will fall on you when like you're playing quite a bit. Because there's like not holding by anything. Like they're just on there. So yeah, you get some technical holes. Because like it was technic here. And on the back, you have kind of this tail. And I would say pick it up from this tail but sometimes if you pick it up like way too hard this will come off or like this this will come off sorry or like this will come off and yeah you can see this came off so yeah and by this came off you can see here i really love the two by three tile and like with these two tiles you can put it over here just like that it's actually a regular kind of city boat that is kind of like backwards sitting on this so i really like that you can take it off and kind of like make rescue and you can remove these bombs they're supposed to be bombs like throw them at the villager or something so that's really nice to get both of them on both sides and you, you can put here actually the villain's weapons the uh, shark army's weapons you can put it but it will snap on you sometimes maybe sometimes like this piece might snap because like it's very hard to put on it but Thanks God, it didn't snap right now. And of course, you can put the two mini figures here, just like that. Put it in the seating mode and put the gunner here, just like that. And the white, great white shark here, also just like that. You can, you need to like move up his hands just to, just like he to for his fit. Get some of these antenna pieces. So if the picture wasn't focused, just let it focus. Okay, get this antenna on both sides, antenna pieces, you can move up and down, you get like this kind of telescope piece, like this just came alone, and you have to put it in this, in like this circle, and it's kind of like a weapon, that's why he's the gunner, and you can put it right back here, or you can make them escape, just like I said earlier, and that's actually it, like, you can hold it by the wings, because, like, it's technique, and you can hold it by the engines, but I would recommend, I wouldn't recommend that, you can hold it like that, just like that, from the bottom, and, like, just like that, as I'm holding it, but I will recommend holding it from the tail, not that much, but you can hold it from the wings, I think the wings are the sturdier place to hold them, so, I think it's just a very nice set, I would probably recommend it, by the way, I lost one of these, uh, Spring load shooters. I believe you get one extra. I would totally recommend it. I just really love the set. I used to have a lot of fun with it. Indeed, it's not my favorite uh, set. I'm doing actually, actually, you might have seen it. Oh no, I, I'm doing a Let's Do Best Lego Ninjago movie set. So check that out on Wednesday. By the time I'm filming this, it's Saturday and this video will be up on monday so that's going to be for today's video if you enjoyed smash that like button consider subscribing if you are new other than that it's been alex and david if you want to check out some more lego ninjago movie reviews be sure to click on the playlist on the end screen right now peace out